Klein 3.3 plus Gemini 2.0 is absolutely insane. So what you can see here, for example, is we built out this landing page. It's literally one single prompt. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm going to show you exactly how we did it and how you can build it for free using the free API from Google Gemini plugged into Client 3.3. Now, this tool is so crazy that basically anyone on the planet can build games, apps, tools, websites for free. You don't need a coding degree. It's not stressful. There's no crying into your keyboard anymore. And we're going to get straight into it. I'll show you how to set this up. Plus, I'll show you how to get the prompts, tools, templates, etc. from today. Let's go. Klein 3.3 is absolutely insane. So if you want to get this installed, make sure that you have Visual Studio set up and then you can implement it directly with a bunch of free APIs. I'll show you exactly how to do this and how you can build websites, tools, etc., and apps even using Klein 3.3. So to get this set up, first of all, download Visual Studio code. It is completely free. Then from there, once you've got that installed, go to extensions. Then you're going to type in Klein and you want to install Klein. Now, if you've already got it installed, like me, for example, then we can right click on Klein, click install specific version, and then we're going to go for Klein 3.1, as you can see. Then we can restart this, go over to Klein, and once you've got the current version, you will see version 3.3.1 down here. Now, there's a bunch of new upgrades like you can see. So, for example, now you can actually add Light LLM, you can add Mistral API models, you can add new Gemini models, they've even added OpenAI. O3 mini models and you've got deep sea reasoner inside there too there's also a bunch of other stuff also for example you can add client ignore to block client from accessing specific file patterns you can add the keyboard shortcut you can fix bugs where new files won't show up in the drop down so what we can do inside the settings if you click on the gear tab in the top is we can select our provider so let's say we want to plug in open router and then under here for example we get a bunch of free models so we can use deep seek for free r1 deep seek chat Google Gemini, etc. So let's go with, for example, Google Gemini Pro. This is the latest model. You can see here the 5th of February, and it is completely free for you to code. Now, the cool thing about this is Klein is free, Visual Studio Code is free, and Google Gemini is free, right? You can also insert some custom instructions here. So, for example, let's say I'm building out from my SEO agency and I'm trying to create some tools or some websites. I can say you're a coder for Goldie Agency, brand colors here, information about us. And then we'll put some details about what we do, etc., over here inside the custom instructions. Additionally, you can insert some funnel links. So let's say, for example, you're building out projects where you want to direct traffic to your funnel pages. So we can set that up. We'll say always have a CTA to book in a free SEO strategy session here. All right. And now it's got custom instructions about who we are, what we do what we sell, et cetera, and then every project can use those custom instructions. Now, what I've actually done is for building out projects, I actually have this custom tool. It's inside the AI Profit Boardroom, which is custom GPT for building out websites. You can use this for client, et cetera. And I'm going to take this really long prompt, like you can see right here, it's 180 words. And we're going to take that, plug it into Visual Studio Code. Because the thing is, if you don't have the right prompts, you're not going to get the best outputs, right? And now it's beginning to build that out. Now, at the bottom, what you can see here is it's got a choice between plan and act, right? So this is a new feature. And also, if you press Command, Shift, and A, you can toggle between these. So you can toggle between planning the project and actually building it out. And also, when you're setting this up, it's always best to start a new folder. So you can see here, for example, I'm going to click on Open, New Folder, SEO Site. And then all my project files for this particular website are going to be built into one place using Client. So if we go over to Client now, using the project that we just built, we're going to take this prompt grab that, go back to Visual Studio Code, plug this inside the details here, and then we're going to hit enter and start building out that project. Now you can see it's building out in the terminal. Again, this is not costing us any money to build this project out. What you can also do is you can select inside your settings over here, you can select Google Gemini instead of Open Router, plug in your API key here. If you're not sure how to get an API key, you can get it from aistudio.google.com. So create an API key, plug it in. Honestly, that seems to be way better at coding and seems to be way faster and easier than what we did previously. So you can see now it's created the page. If we run that, we've got that page ready to go, right? With the custom links plus our custom branding, right? So you can see here, I was create this tool using the branding using the button, etc., And that was only using Google 2.0 Flash 0001, which is not the latest, which is not the latest one. So if we switch back now to Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite Preview, and what we can also say inside the custom instructions to get better outputs here is we can give it some information 
on how to write the rest of the page, right? So you see here how it's just a basic page, but you always want to be adding, for example, always add a navigation menu. And then inside here, I want to say, and add more information on the page every time you build, not just a tool, etc. All right. Easiest to do that. And then I've given it some details on me, my source context, who I am, who we are, etc., um, And also some information about us. If you want the custom instructions from today, I'll include that inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with the prompts and the custom GPT that I used to create the prompts for this particular model. So if you go to the classroom inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description, then go to SAPs and then go to Client 3.3 plus Gemini 2.0, you'll find the details all right there, along with our crash course plus weekly calls and us. So let's go back to Climb now. We need it done. We'll click on Start New Task plug in the prompt again right here and see if we get better outputs from that. It's building out the app like you can see. So we're building out this project using this prompt right here. It's creating the style CSS. It also problem solves itself. So you can see here how it's fixing its own errors once it spots them. Now it's creating the script.js, building out the rest of the website structure and it's doing this all automatically for us, right? I'm not typing or clicking anything. It's just running an autopilot building out a whole website. and. Cool thing about this is like Gemini 2. Flash, especially as you can tell by the name, is super fast when it's building out. Like this is way faster than using something like DeepSeek, and its API seems to be quite laggy when you use stuff like DeepSeek. Also, you can see how it's custom tailoring all the code and all the content, etc., on the website to our business, which is great. One little tip as well: if you ever get any errors on the API request or any limits here, etc. Then what you can do is just change the API halfway through, right? So you can switch to a different version of Google Gemini. There's many different versions of Flashlight, etc., And then you'll get the output that you want. And then once you're ready, you say, now let me see the website. We can open it up and you can see it's built out the website right here. Honestly, I'm not that impressed with the design, but you can see how it's created all the content, created links to our strategy session, etc. We just need a better design on that. So something that's really good for just adding the finishing touches when it comes to designing the website is Claude 3.5. Claude actually has computer use built into the API, which means that it can run the website, have a look at it, iterate it, improve it until it's finally ready to go. So if we say now, okay, analyze the website, design, make it look more beautiful, modern, sleek, like it was built for hundred thousand dollars in 2025 and we'll switch down here to open router and pull 3.5 sonnet now you can see if we zoom in here and you can press command and plus if you're on a map to zoom in on the chat we can x off that you can see he said right to make the website look more beautiful modern sleek as if it was built for 100k in 2025 i'll need to enhance the design significantly i'll focus on improving the visual appeal adding modern design elements and refining the overall user experience I'll start by updating the CSS. So you can see it's just running through all the CSS code right now. Now, if we open this up, we'll run the command. We have a much nicer looking website. Look at that. And it's built out the content. Let's see how long the content is. That is 552 words. Looks 10 times better than the previously did. Nicely set up. Obviously you would add your own images, videos, etc. That's gonna be a big part of the design. But you can see here how it's like created this website. It's got links to our funnels directly. It's all personalized to us. It's even included some pricing packages which is just made up on the spot. Added a blog section. Again, you would add your images directly here and then a contact us form as well. And you're ready and you're off to the races. Plus just to add that extra design finishing touch, right? So you built out the main content from the website for free. Then you're just gonna add a few tokens for Claw 3.5 Sonic. If you really wanna level up the design, design you don't have to i don't think design matters so i think if you're just trying to get like a minimum viable project you don't even need to do that and you can see the api cost there is is 30 cents right 32 cents to get your website set up to get a nice design is is ridiculously easy isn't it let's be honest all right so you now know how to build out a website and a landing page using this let me show you how you can build some games using this process Right. And the thing is here as well, this isn't just for fun. Like you can do this for business as well. And you can tailor this to whatever you want. Like whatever industry you're in, this doesn't just have to be for gamers. Like you can create a custom tailored game for whatever business you're in. You can send that to clients, to prospects. You can rank it on Google. There's many ways you can leverage that as a PR campaign as well to, to basically get more exposure for your brand. And we can build this with Client 3.3. So for example, if we type in SEO game and we created a website around this, like for example, bestseogame.com, you can see here, it's pretty easy to rank for. People are looking for it on Google, decent search volume, decent traffic potential, and we could easily create that 
using clients. So let me show you how to set that up. So for example, if we type in SEO game into Keyword Explorer, you can see here that this is pretty easy to rank for. Lots of people are searching it in Google, as you can see, 100. And so if we use this prompt inside client, what we've done here is we've created it step by step. So what I've actually done is using my custom GPT for building prompts. I've created this prompt right here. Let's see how long that is. That's 272 words. Then we're going to go over to Visual Studio Code. We're going to start a new task over here. And we're going to say, okay, generate a highly engaging interactive landing page. We'll switch back to Gemini Flash. And then we're going to hit enter. So that's going to run the API request. And then we can just build out a game pretty simply. Right? And it's planning it out before we do it. One of the best things you can do is obviously I'm doing this for a video, right? So this is a YouTube video. I don't want to spend too much time creating that video. But what you can do if you really want to get this right is you can select plan first inside Climb 3.4. Then once you've got a really good plan and you've mapped out exactly what you need to make this work, then you can click on act. And then inside the act section, that's where it's actually going to build out the code for you and everything else. But just for the sake of simplicity in a video, I'm going to go straight to, plan, to, to act in. I'm a man of action. So it's building out the whole website right here. What we actually asked it to do was make it SEO related, right? So you can see here, for example, it's like refining the game mechanics and it's any enemy types. And it's even created and refined the game mechanics based on our industry, right? So it's like enemy types, implement different enemy types, keyword stuffers, slow load time bugs, broken links, duplicate content drones with different behaviors and scores. It's even gonna give an SEO score a win condition based on the SEO score to win. And then you can see here it's built out the whole project. Now, if you want to test it, we'll say now run this game. We can now open this up and like you can see, it's built out the whole landing page with the game embedded, right? And if you look, it's defend your rankings, battle SEO threats and win, play, learn and get a free SEO audit. And then underneath it's actually got a CTA to generate leads from that page, links to our funnels. It's also added like an explanation of what you get and how this works, etc. And if you want to improve it, then you can just go back to climb and be like, okay, you can insert the error plus improve the design. All right. And then once it's done and made those changes, and again, like we improved the design with Claw 3.5 Sonnet, this cost us $0.07. It's just seven cents. The other way that you can open these up is if you click on reveal in finder on the index.html, then go over to a new tab inside Chrome, plug that in. You've got the game ready to go, like you can see. And then you can see it's working pretty nicely right there. Now, also you can see here, the design looks much nicer now. It's got the theme of a game, like an old school game as well, which Klein just added. And then we've got the details on how to use it, etc. And we build that out in what, like a few minutes, just messing around on a YouTube video. So you can see here how you can build games, you can build apps, you can build tools using Klein 3.3 with Google Gemini 2.0, super powerful. Sprinkling in a little bit of Claude as well, we get like a much better output in terms of the design. And we've customized this all to our business, our brand, etc. Now, if you're wondering, okay, like how do you actually host these files? Let me show you how to do that. So we can go and reveal and finder. Then from here, we can click on add a new site, import an existing project, try and netlify drop. And then we can grab that folder, which we've got right here. And we'll plug that into netlify. That's going to upload. And then if we open that up, you can see that is hosted on a custom domain. So additionally, if you want to deploy this, then just go to domain management, add a domain. Obviously like something like Space Invaders, I think you probably have to be careful about copyright. So we're not gonna host that live or anything, but you could easily say create. I can show you how to build with AI, but I'm not a legal expert. Then if you wanted to host this on a custom domain, you could put like game.com, hit search, that's ready to buy and host. And as soon as you buy that, the deployment of your game is going to be hosted on that live domain. And you can do that in probably the space of 15 minutes, right? Using Klein and AI. So really powerful stuff. Unbelievable what you can do with it. And you know exactly how to do this step by step. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is I plug the prompts and the tool inside the AI Profit boardroom. Link in the comments and description, along with the custom instructions for client. You also get workflows on like NA10 agents, computer use agents, an AI crash course on how to save hundreds of hours based on the systems we've used to scale. And additionally, you'll get weekly calls in there too. Now, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, link in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, or answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly our ranking competitors link building and how to 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us. 
Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.